You guys, we have the boss fight. This is going to be intense. Bye, hello everyone, it's Tanya here and welcome back to my channel. I am very happy to say that today's video is sponsored by Immortal Diaries. Shout out to them for wanting to work with me because I am honored. <laughs> so I've been playing the past few days and it is such a unique game and I'm kind of like addicted to it. You guys know some of my favorite things are mobile apps, vampire stories, and stories that let you choose how it will end and allows you to pick choices. And the reason why I was so excited when I found out about Immortal Diaries is because it's a combination of all three. As you can tell by my makeup, I have vampire inspired makeup today in honor of this. If you wanna read about the game and like the synopsis of it, you can check it out in your app store or Google Play store. You grew up as an orphan, living a normal life, you thought everything was normal, and then all of a sudden you find this heirloom and then you find out you're actually a descendant of the first vampire that ever existed. And so your whole life gets turned around and it's a mix of you discovering who you are as you venture into the vampire life, but then you also meet these mysterious men and you have like blooming romance with each of them and you're basically playing this amazing vampire love story so it's so much fun and I'm gonna be playing it with you guys today. I've been playing it the past few days and I thought it'd be perfect if we can play a little bit together and if you guys even want to play at the same time as me at home feel free. And so if you know me and you know my channel you know that I love a good vampire romance story. <laughs> so you just press have to start and here's my girl Karen. <laughs> But we have my girl Karen Adelin, and I started playing this off camera, but so far I am turned. I'm not a human anymore. You start off as a human, and then you discover that you're actually the descendant of the first ever vampire that exists, and it's so intense. There's like creepy music and stuff. It's so, it's insane. It's like the perfect little mix of horror and romance and mystery. I love it. So right now I am turned, and we are almost there to being pure blood. We are not there yet, but there are multiple levels that we can reach, and if you go to to promotion village you can see we have obviously human which we don't want to be human we want to be vampire queen and as we play the story we can get more achievements but there's human turned which is where we are right now and then there's pure blood noble baroness two baroness one etc so we're building our way up with that and a little hint we'll get into it later but that's my man right there but first i want to get into the story i want to play with you guys i want to continue the story line. finally today i can play with you guys so you just click this button here story and we're gonna start we're currently on chapter two i already finished chapter one as you can see in the top right corner, that is our energy amount. And you need energy to start, obviously. So as we can see here, we're gonna be starting chapter two. Mysterious characters emerge before your eyes as you learn to navigate your newly found identity in an increasingly complex word of intrigue and danger. Start, so we're gonna start, okay? <laughs> You can skip through, but I do recommend you actually play it out because it's really fun. So Marcus leads you through the winding dark streets to the entrance of a tunnel. You feel a bit disoriented when you finally exit through a small hidden door in an abandoned building. It's night out here too. Oh, Marcus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have mentioned that this place wasn't picking daisies in a park. If you're going to run off into trouble like that again, remember to ring back up got my number. So yeah, Marcus has our back, you guys. His tone is kind as you walk to the main road to hail down a cab. All you feel is a pressing need to get home where it's safe. See, this is me. That place was a nightmare. And who the hell was that guy? That smoke. She must have been a vampire. Just like me. Just like me. Well, technically we're not there yet. Techni technically we're not there yet. Well, we will be. I mean, I, if I found out they were real, I would be very happy. The driver sounds his horn, rolling down the window to yell at you in irritation. The audacity. Marcus's eyes are blazing intently at you when you turn to address him. See, so with this story, we have dialogue choices. So we are in control of our fate and destiny in this game. Every choice we choose affects everything. As we can see, we're in a very uncomfortable situation. Are we going to apologize or are we going to say we need to go? And for me personally, I think the smart thing is to leave. I need to go home. Goodbye, Marcus. And now our fate is sealed. <laughs> Oh God, Marcus wants us to get back safely. I mean, I, I gotta leave the uncomfortable situation, you guys. You breathe a sigh of relief as you slip into the passenger seat of the car, murmuring an address to the driver. You can still feel the adrenaline pumping through you. You can't resist one last look at Marcus through the window. Your eyes lock for his first split second and an impression of tussled hair and flashing hazel eyes burns into your memory. I don't know what to think of him yet. Is he dangerous? Is he not? I don't know. He's a half-blood, by the way. Your reflections are cut short the moment 
moment you look up and realize in horror that a man has just stepped into the road, seemingly oblivious to headlights of the cab shining on him like a spotlight. Look out! The driver slams on the brakes and swerves to avoid him, and you see his shocked face for a split second before the corner of the hood clips him. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You unfasten your seatbelt, ignoring your throbbing shoulder, and dash out in a panic to see if the man is okay. The man is lying on the ground, and you gasp to see a small trickle of blood seeping through his long, dirty hair. A quick pulse confirms he's alive. Blood? We're a vampire. Hey, he just came out of nowhere. We aren't responsible for this, idiot. Oh god, there's a quarrel! <laughs> Oh gosh. So there are different difficulties in the game. We have energy clearance and battle clearances. And we can pass checkpoints by fighting story bosses or using energy to unlock story sections. So for example, right now we have a quarrel. We're kind of going to fight, <laughs> which I am obsessed with. So we're just gonna press quarrel. <sighs> Idiot had it coming, I'm leaving. <laughs> Oh gosh, and we win, <laughs> we win the coral. And as you can see, we have a bunch of rewards here. We have silver cars, XP, bunch of things, and we're just going to claim it. And that is contributing to us going from turned to a pure blood vampire. So we're just gonna press continue. So we have a new follower unlocked. This is a really unique concept to this game that I love. So throughout the story, you'll see you get new followers. And basically these followers allow you to build up influence, etc., and that can give you more XP. I'll get into more talking about the followers later but basically as we go throughout the story we will get more followers and those will help us assist in battles that you will see against bosses at the end of each chapter and they will help us win and we need to win in order to advance in our vampire life so we have a new follower thomas the guy that basically got hit by the tax so he is a lone wanderer in search of his family he is nimble not picky and has a sharp mind his family may be closer than he anticipated. Gently pricking your finger, you press a small bead of blood onto the worn leather cover of the book. Burst of light illuminates the room and the book suddenly appears newer than it did before. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, we found the first of my missing pieces. Fortune does indeed favor the brave. So is that what I need to look for? Magical glowing pieces that disappear as soon as I touch them. In a sense, yes. They will appear during moments where you are being tested. I sense the transition in you beginning. Continue on this path to unlock more of the venture power because our ancestor was the first ever vampire. I don't know what power you're talking about. Vampire powers? I feel human. I go out into the sun, I eat food, and I have never felt some weird urge to drink blood. Girl, you are almost there. <laughs> Be patient. It's not for me to give you all the answers, Karen Adeline. Those words are meaningless until you experience the truth of who you really are. Experience the truth of who you really are. Who am I anyway? An abandoned child? An orphan with no family? That's been my truth all this time. I have so many questions. This doesn't make sense. Why can't you just tell me what I want to know? But the book dims and no more words appear on the blank pages. You close it, exasperated and tired. Tomorrow's another day of work and it's already late. The next morning, let's see what I have to wear. Let's try for something a bit more presentable today. So during the story, we have chances to participate in interactive dress up where we can buy certain clothes, change our hairstyles. What you choose in the beginning of the game does not have to stay the whole time. You can dress up in many ways. You can change your outfit anytime you want, your hair, your clothes. So throughout the story, we do have chances of interactive dress up where we can change our clothes to increase our immersion in the story or simply just if you feel like it different look. I think for today, instead of a dress, we're going to rock a shirt and our high-waisted pants. And I think we're going to keep our shoes the way they are. Or actually, I'm kind of feeling these poofy flip-flops. So we're going to go with that. The morning passes quietly with a few orders to process. As you skim the latest manifest, your eyes light up in anticipation of one of the antiques for sale. A 17th century crystal mirror composed of gold and precious stones. You hear the auction's proceedings and can't resist leaving your desk to get a peek inside. They say this was made for the king's mistress, a woman whose beauty was framed. Oh my gosh, 200,000 for a mirror that's half destroyed. Another idiot who has no appreciation for art. Oh my god, is this another man? Oh, and I suppose you do. You nearly jump out of your skin at the sound of a deep voice next to your ear. Spinning around, you suppress a shiver of shock, looking at the man who sat in the row behind you. Piercing, icy blue eyes look at you intently as if commanding you to answer. They are so intense that you barely let yourself notice the rest of his features. Give your opinion or downplay it. I'm going to give my opinion. The history behind an antique adds to its value. Besides, its physical value, an antique also functions as a kind of art. 
the meaning behind it has to count for something. Five million dollars. <laughs> Our meaning is worth very much. Oh, we have a chance to level up, let's claim. And we got 50,000 energy and more XP points. So now we have more energy to play, perfect. So right now we're currently in school and we're getting ready for school and we just went to the bathroom and we came across Caroline. Um, I've recently just moved here. Oh, do I know your parents and where did you go to school? My parents are dead and I went to school in the orphanage I grew up in. That's sad they started letting anyone in with a sob story. The audacity of Caroline. Oh, we're gonna fight. Let's go, I'm fighting her. Poor little orphan girl. I lost. That's <laughs> okay, so we lost our last battle with against Caroline. And in order to win these battles, I need more energy. And in Immortal Diaries, the way to gain more energy is by using your coins to level up and train your followers. They help you in battle. They give you more energy. As you can see, I have 488,000 coins. So as you can see, leveling up Mary here is going to cost 7k coins, 8k coins. And then we have William, level up him. We're gonna train him as well. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of different things like force, social, creation, stamina, and random. And all these things are gonna help them help us defeat Caroline. So you really have to take care of your followers in this game so they help you with your fights. So as we can see, we have force, social, creation, stamina, and random. And I'm going to use force. And we're gonna take this force tablet and use it with William. We're gonna give him one press use and we increase the influence so i'm gonna exit as you can see all my followers have increased we have mary at level 23 william at 20 thomas at 17 morgan at 16 elise at 14 and carrie at 14 as well and they were all at like levels five before and as you can see we're gonna go back now to our fight with caroline and as you can see now it says easy it's gonna be easy to win this so now we can do this we have sufficient energy and we're gonna start the fight and now this time we're gonna win watch I have way more energy than she does. So look, we're gonna fight. <laughs> and we lost the first time. And see, look, look how her energy depleted fully and ours didn't and we win. We have finally come to the end of chapter two. And at the end of every chapter in Immortal Diaries, there is a fight with a boss. And these are always so intense and so fun. And it is the final part of this chapter before we move on to the next and advance, but we do have to win. You guys, we have the boss fight. This is going to be intense. The boss's influence, you hear this? Is 864K. My influence is 1.67 million. And you gain influence by training your followers, by playing the story, by leveling up your followers. It's great. We're going to start. And our followers are going to help us, see? We dealt, oh my gosh, we dealt 600,000 damage to Caroline. Continue. See, our followers are helping us. We're going to start the battle again. All our followers, Mary was done, then came Marcus and depleted all of Caroline's influence. And look, we won. This is so cool. So let's continue. And we got the second shard of the, <gasps> look, we found the second piece. And you guys, we have finally made the advancement from turned to pure blood. And here we are, are on to chapter three. If you guys do want to find out what happens next, make sure you all go download this and play. It is addicting. <laughs> So now that I've gone through some of the gameplay with you guys, I want to end this off with some more of the main features of Immortal Diaries and kind of explain to you what they're about. So I want to talk to you guys about the whole dress up feature. It is one of my favorite parts of this game. So there are many ways in Immortal Diaries to be able to dress up your character in any way you want. And you have them all here. There's wardrobe if you want to just be able to see your whole wardrobe and you can buy anything in the fashion shop or Rose Mall. So we're going to go to the fashion shop. I have yet to buy anything because I wanted to save that so I can show you all what I buy, how I buy it. So as you can see, it shows you everything that's new that's been added to the store. So these are the new items. These are our hairstyles, our clothes, our shoes, more accessories, and makeup. I'm gonna buy it all. So we have all these beautiful hairstyles and I think I'm gonna go for like a nighttime look right now. So we're gonna do the hair that is flowing to the side. Next up are our clothes and as you can see we have our tops, we have our bottoms, but we also have our dresses. I think I'm gonna go with the leather shorts and that new purple top we bought because it's like a very like this would be great for like a club or even just like a nighttime event at your college. And next we're going to go with our shoes. Ooh, oh my gosh the black boot heels are perfect. And then the accessories. 
accessories. An embossed handbag. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then finally our earrings. And last but not least, we're gonna have our beautiful red lip makeup. And there we have it. That is our nighttime outfit. It came out so well. And now I just wanna do one more to show you like the complete opposite. We're gonna do a bun. We're gonna take off our makeup. Let's wear our 90. Take off all the accessories. And then we're gonna put on some comfy shoes. And you literally just have nighttime sleep. It's amazing. Design your character to look any way you want and it's so versatile, it's so fun. So as you can see, we have Mr. Right here. And here is where we have our four love interests. Also, if you go back here, there is the date option where you can pick any of the four Mr. Rights to go on a date with. So let's say we wanted to go on a date with Marcus. This would be our first date called After the Rain. And it says at the top here, the kind of synopsis of what the date would include. So it would be at a cafe. You hurry into a coffee shop to take shelter from the rain and you're surprised to see Marcus there and he seems interested in the books you're holding. So this is where we would press start and this is where we're going to confirm and go on our date with Marcus. And you can do this with any of your four bachelors. Also, one little feature that's really interesting with interacting with Mr. Wright is you can message them anytime you want. So we're gonna click message here and we have our texting conversation with Adrian. He's asking us why we didn't answer our phone. And when you click here, you get three options. So it's basically like the interactive choices of the story, but via text message. Now, if you want to actually interact with your Mr. Right and go shopping with him or maybe even buy a pet together, you'll click Mr. Right over here. And since we went on a date with Marcus, I'm gonna choose Caleb for this one. So this is where we can interact with any one of our Mr. Rights. We can give them gifts, go shopping together, and we can even adopt pets together, which I will get into later. And all of these things combined, the gifts, the shopping, even getting a pet together will increase our intimacy with them. So we'll get even closer to that and form an even deeper bond. So I'm just gonna show you how this works. So let's say we wanna give Caleb a gift. So we go to gifts and these are the gifts we have right now. We currently have a wallet and this is where you'll see the effect of the gift you're gonna get. So it says right here, the wallet, by sending it to Mr. Wright, it grants three intimacy. And so we can choose to give him the gift or not, but I'm not because guess what other gift do we have? We have chocolate and this will give two intimacy, but since we have more, we have over 21 chocolates. We only had one wallet. Since we have more chocolate, I can give him five and I'm gonna gift him five chocolates. The other thing we can do with our Mr. Right is we can also go shopping and we will do this with our boy, Adrian. So let's go shopping together. As we can see here, we got coffee, we can get perfume, we can get a phone. And as you can see, when you go shopping for these gifts, it tells you your percent chance of whether or not you can find a puppy. We can see here that there is a free option for a diamond to get a hundred percent chance of finding a puppy. So I'm gonna click this. I really want a puppy. I love puppies and I'm sure me and Adrian will raise wonderful puppy together. So we're gonna click here and we're gonna get a puppy. <laughs> and look at that. <laughs> we got a pet. Sadly, Adrian is telling us that only we can take care of the pet, but I'm happy because I love dogs and we're gonna choose a dog name. Let's go with, why do I have the urge to name him Tommy? We're gonna go with Tommy. Confirm. When your intimacy reaches a certain level, intimacy achievements are given. And once your intimacy with Mr. Right is improved, we can flirt to obtain fondness, which this also directly can affect our followers attributes as well and increase those as well. As you can see here, we have Marcus and we can just click obtain in intimacy here and we can obtain intimacy by sending more gifts, shopping and messages to increase our intimacy grade. So that's what we can do with Mr. Right. Another really cool, unique concept with Immortal Diaries is the option to have pets and gardens. Now that we have this story where we're trying to discover our place in the world as a vampire while also trying to have a lover, we can also now raise pets and garden. So so you click garden and here is where we have our beautiful garden and this is where we can plant seeds and you can obviously plant more as you unlock more positions in your state of vampire. Right now I'm only a pureblood and I have about two slots but as you become a noble, a baroness, a countess, a machinus and you can plant so many more things in your garden. We can also exchange flowers for pet food. So we're gonna plant our lily and then as you can see in two hours we're gonna be ready to go to the next step and then as you let your garden build and when they're ready to harvest we can exchange flowers for pet food and the pet store. So if you want to see the pet store, so this is a perfect example. If you want to exchange a flower for food, we're going to exchange for one. And we have just normal dog food to feed our dog. Now I'm going to go to my pet. I'm going to feed him and we're gonna give him a bowl of dog food that we just exchanged for with the pet store. And now he is 10 out of 100 sanctuated, so I gotta make sure I do this more. I gotta make sure I get to planting. There are just so many features in this game, you guys, that I could spend hours talking to you about. There are a couple more I just wanna show really quickly. Like for example, during the gameplay, you guys saw obviously the followers and stuff, but this is so crucial to increasing your energy, increasing your power, and followers are so just crucial to the game in general and helping you win so you can become Vampire Queen. 
And basically, as we play the story, we get more followers. The more followers we have, the more influence we'll get. And the more influence we get, the more likely we'll defeat the boss. So we're gonna look at our follower list. And so far I have eight followers and there are a total of 47 in the game. So I can only imagine when you get all 47, how strong and powerful you will be. So we can see Mary here and each follower we see, they have four main attributes. So her attributes are force, social creation, stamina, and these all kind of combine to help her help us beat different quarrels and fights and the boss. And you can also see her abilities. So she has iron will, cure, never surrenders, they intervene, and they have the warrior's touch. And you can also read a little blurb about them when you click information. So you can see that about all our followers, their different abilities to heal, whisper, leap, the information about them. So if you want to look at that too, if you want to look at Thomas, species is a werewolf, ooh. <laughs> if you want to level up, you can do it one at a time and that costs coins. So as you can see, I have 500,000 coins, so I can level up a lot. But if you want to level up 10 times, you can just press this button here and press level up and it'll do the math for you. So that's how you level up. But what you want to do too is make sure you also train them because when you train them, for example, if you want to help increase their force, we have force powder and a force tablet. I have, there's also a social tablet. There's the creation tablet, a stamina tablet, and random. So we're gonna go social. I'll increase his social using a social tablet. Use that and that increase and that helps train them. And again, this gives you more energy to fight bosses and stuff. So, so what happens when you're fighting a boss is all your followers are being used to help fight them. And what happens is as one runs out, you have the second one come in. The more stamina, the more power, the more force your followers have, the longer they last. But if none of them have good attributes, they're gonna die really fast and you're gonna lose. So make sure you are leveling up your followers and you're training them. It costs a lot of coins, but coins are so easy to get as you complete the level, so don't even worry. We do have a study and this is where we can do multiple like routines or affairs. And you can just select finish all. But these help us with our attributes, etc. So I just usually press finish all. Gave us energy, gave us coins gave us everything. Finally, the last thing I wanna talk about is diamonds. And diamonds will help you complete things faster in the game. So if you wanna be able to get diamonds, you can buy them. You can get over 60 diamonds for only a dollar, et cetera. You can get as many as you want. They help you complete levels faster. And if you ever ran out of energy, you can use them to just buy more energy. So you can do it really fast. Another thing that's so cool is there's this feature where you can literally talk to people about the game and play. So like it's a little chat. If you have any questions about the game, there are other players that are playing and it's so cool. And that's pretty Pretty much it. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you. There's these other little features at the bottom, like your tasks, like I mentioned before. You have daily tasks, timed rewards, your rank. It also shows you rankings of who has the most followers, etc. And you can also go to the city where there's Rome's mall, a fashion mall. There's so many cool things in this game. And I just wanted to show you guys. And this is where I'm gonna end the video. Um, again, thank you so much to Mortal Diaries for sponsoring this video. It's it's been an honor and I just want you guys to know that on my channel, I would never promote a game or anything that I don't think you would genuinely enjoy. And I feel like with how much I, I have genuinely enjoyed playing this game the past few days and doing all the leveling up and shopping and pets and stuff, like I feel like you guys would really enjoy this game. Like it's such a perfect cross with like the vampire love story. And then you have your Mr. Right that you're trying to win his heart and stuff. And it's, it's so cool. You get to pick your own choices. Like I love games like that. So this was like a no brainer to show you guys. So I want you all to go download Immortal Diaries and play. And maybe we can even chat in it after. Look out for Karen Adeline. <laughs> we can even chat in a little chat. It's really fun. And I love you guys. And again, I love you Immortal Diaries. <laughs> thank you for sponsoring this video. It has been amazing working with you. But yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys. Play Immortal Diaries and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mwah. <laughs>